What's up guys? I'm Jade Zoe from Complex Australia. We're in LA for ComplexCon, but before we check that out, we're going to hang out with some locals, go to some spots and see what this city has to offer. First stop is brunch in downtown LA's Grand Central Market with Sydney's own Wax Motif. A house DJ who signed to Diplo's Mad Decent label and since moving to LA has found himself working with rappers like Pusha T and YG. Okay, so you're originally from Sydney and you've moved to LA. How long have you been here for and like, what's it been like? Um, I moved to LA like three years ago, yeah. and yeah, it's been dope. Like, a lot of my time was spent in Hollywood, but now I live downtown, and um, fucking vibes down here. Is there anyone you can tell us that you're working with? Yeah, there's this girl called Maribel. Yeah, I don't know if you've heard of Maribel. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So Maribel did this awesome song for me. That was really cool, like, getting her. And she's done, like, two things for me now, so yeah. she's sick. And have you got any stories being in the studio? Yeah, I mean, the funniest one probably was um, when I worked with Warren G. So he smoked a bunch of weed, and then like three quarters through writing his verse, he like fell asleep. We'd never met, so I like kind of awkwardly had to like try and wake him up and like get him to finish the song. But other than that, he was chill, like he's yeah. super dope. You're being known for kind of like a housey producer, but you seem to be working with a lot of rappers. Yeah. Like, what's that been like? It's pretty cool actually, because like, fuck, I'm from Australia, so yeah. like, <laughs> The opportunities don't exist there than they do here. And I think now with rap, like, they're all more open to electronic music. And so it's been pretty good in that respect where I can go to the studio and like, I don't have to play what their sound normally is. But yeah, everyone's been pretty dope. Like, working with like Ty Dolla Sign, like YG. Um, I just did a song with Pusha T. Everyone's been dope. Like, the rap thing is like crazy. Just being around that like culture all of a sudden, which like, I'm not used to at all. Like, wow. Okay, cool. So you're taking me to Grand Central Market. Yeah. Um, what spot are we going to hit? I wanted to hit Eggs Yeah. but that line looks pretty vicious. Yeah. I feel like there's a ton of dope food though, so we could like... Okay, cool. Around. So should we go get some stuff? Yeah. Hell yeah. up with Khalid. He's an 18 year old singer who after being featured on Kylie Jenner's Snapchat has now landed himself a major label deal. I'm actually a military child. Yeah. So I've moved a lot. I lived in New York for around four years. I lived in Germany for around six, almost seven years. And I moved to El Paso around last year, actually. I was there for a year and a half. Thinking about the fact that you're only 18, yeah. when I listen to your music, it's more mature, and it's really <laughs> like got a lot of emotional depth to oh, it. Yeah. Where does that come from? I feel like moving a lot as a yeah. child, it really forced me to mature super early on an age. And everything, everything that I write is super genuine and super heartfelt. I have a lot of friends who have been through relationships and all of that, and so it's really, it's all super personal. It's all, it's all heartfelt, it's all from the heart. So everything I write is just either stuff that I've lived or that my friends have lived. Yeah. yeah. One of your biggest career kind of highlights so far is Kylie Jenner's Snapchat of you. The Kylie Jenner Snapchat thing was just super funny because she actually played it on my graduation day of oh. high school. Super dope. I didn't know she was a fan, but it was such a cool experience to just know that the song has, I guess, hit different masses in yeah. different areas like that. It was super cool. And like, are you friends with her now? Do you send her any music? I actually have not met her. Oh, you haven't? Yeah, <laughs> no, her. not yet, but it would be super cool. I'm sure, cool yeah, that'll her. happen soon. Hopefully, yeah, it would be super dope. <laughs> Next, we found LaKaylee 47 in a hidden studio in North Hollywood to get to know the artist behind the mask. We've got three mixtapes already. Now yes. you're working on your new album. Yes. You're a singer, rapper, and producer. Yes. Are you finding 2016 like an exciting year as a female artist after having Beyonce drop her Lemonade album and Solange and Alicia Keys album just dropped? Are you finding it yourself as a female artist? Is Absolutely, yes. And I was very excited for each and every single one of those projects yeah. you dropped, I mean, that you mentioned. It's just something about honesty for me. I love honest songs, and I feel like each of those projects, that's exactly what you, you hear, and that's what you get. It's very honest. Um, it's very silky, I don't yeah. know, <laughs> you know? Thought-provoking, and I love it, you know? So yeah, I uh, salute to those women. I want to talk about your influences. Okay. So you've mentioned that Biggie, Nas, yes. and Missy Elliott are your main influences. Yeah, just to name a few. Just Missy, to me, what, what I took from her, um, and I'm not ashamed to say it, is her braveness. Just the, you know, just 
the way she went out and blazed her own trail. Like we have to just, if, if we're gonna be real, I sit here because of someone like Missy Elliott. Yeah. Like she stepped out and she was not scared to do her thing. And because she wasn't scared, I'm here, you know what I mean? So um, I bow down to her. Uh, the same with Nas and, and all those guys, Busta Rhymes, you know, like I just applaud creativity and honesty and bravery and you know, like just that fearlessness. For more on my interview with the Kaylee 47, stay tuned to Complex AU. After a long day of getting around Los Angeles, we hooked up with visual artist Pat Martinez for a true LA experience. He took us out to his favorite taco truck in a Pasadena parking lot. So why is this your favorite spot? Um, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of nostalgic. I grew up in the city. When I get done with the studio, I come just right down the freeway, park, grab a few tacos, stuff my face, and yeah. I'm, good. I'm good. You're born and bred LA, so yep. you get a lot of inspiration here for your artwork. What do you draw from the city that inspires you for your art? I mean, it's a lot of things. It's um, the landscape, the people, um, things that are kind of overlooked in Los Angeles, the juxtaposition between two things that aren't like, you know, supposed to go together, like a store owner putting neon in front of his, you know, storefront and then painting it a certain color or something, you know, like the, the actual store. Just just different compositions that I find around the city is what, what kind of uh, moves me and um, the people, stories, things like that. Yeah, he yeah. used a lot of West Coast lyrics, so mm -hmm. draws inspiration from that. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 a lot of West Coast lyrics and a lot of West Coast temperament, yeah. uh, just because I grew up out here. So I pull from it, like, tool, like you know, it's in my toolbox. So that language I understand, so I use it as a, as a, as a way of uh, connecting with people. Yeah. Subscribe to Complex AU on YouTube for part two when we check out ComplexCon. I'm allergic to shellfish, but yo, that's cool.